Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my friend Shiharu here and we create this beautiful summer look for you. If you like what you see, continue watching. And if you like it, give us some love and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Shiharu and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. For the skin, I want to keep it very luminous. I think a few glow drops from Barbara Sturm is great. It's not glittery, it's more like a sheer luminizer. And to me, it's almost like a serum as well. So you can use that before you moisturize, get the skin primed up and hydrated for the makeup. And don't forget the eye. Give them some love as well. I love this eye oil. It's perfect. It does help to depop the eyes in the morning. This moisturize, I think it's like a cold favorite for all the makeup artists, especially when they do this show. It's most basic moisturizer everyone loves. It's suit for everyone. No one get reaction to that. Invest you one simple moisturizer. That would be great for makeup. They more richer moisturizer. But I like it. I usually like richer moisturizer because I think it's like one is absorbed to the skin. The skin's so hydrated. And then you apply your foundation. The foundation never feel cakey or anything at all. It just go so much smoother. And take a few seconds to keep the face a little love. Always hydrate on the lips as well. I usually don't just wait until before lipstick to apply lip balm. I usually put right from beginning before I start my foundation and everything and let the lip balm sit there and hydrate the lips the whole time. And sometimes if the lips so dry, you might use some exfoliator or anything to take all the dead skin off and then hydrate again. But the first thing, just leave it there, let it sit. I love to apply foundation with this sponge. It is really a body makeup sponge, but I start using it for foundation, I love it. I often use in this makeup sponge. It is better when the sponge has been used many times. Of course, you wash the sponge after every time you use, but because when it's older, you can mold them in every shape you like. The foundation I'm using right now is very luminous and on top of the all the skin prepping i use it's actually helped the skin even more luminous than what it is the only tricky part about this foundation is you can only get them in japan or the uk so i know that some of my viewer might be in all different country but i think you still can order online i love this formulation and as you can see what i'm doing right now this sponge helped me to press and pat in any way I want and without feeling so hard on the face. It's actually feel like a little massage on the face when I do the foundation. And it's blend seamlessly. The concealer I'm using today is also another cold favorite. It's a Claypole concealer and also another Japanese brand. The tricky part about this concealer is they don't have a huge range of shades. I think they have only six shades. They used to have four actually, and now they actually make to six. You can only use enough for pale skin to more on olive skin, but anything darker than that you can. But it's absolutely amazing. It gives full great coverage without the flakiness or the dry texture. It's all day, the textures keep the same. She already have amazing skin, so I'm only just cover a little discoloration underneath the eye and just a little bit around the nose. And when applying concealer, I tend not to apply too close to the lash line. I like to leave some natural shadow around the eye still. Of course, depend on the look you do. But what I'm doing today is not much. There's no gonna be no eyeliner. And so I still wanna see some good detail around the eye. And this concealer is also amazing for cover blemishes. You can use just the same concealer for the whole face. This also another coat favorite. Really, really sheer cream bronzer. I wish they make more than one shade, to be honest with you. But I mean, it's suitable for a lot of different skin types, not too dark. 
this is give life back to the face after foundation. If you're not a contour person, this is the best way just bring back dimension on the face. I usually use this just around the perimeter of the face and just frame the face again with the bronzer. Because sometimes when you apply foundation all over, you lose cheekbone, all the detail, and this can bring back everything. For powder, I'm only gonna do under the eye, around the nose, and the T-zone again. And I love this powder. It feels like almost nothing on the skin. I'm gonna leave the shine everywhere, and that's it, the only area I'm gonna leave it matte. Mark Jacob Beauty just came out with this eyebrow pencil and I actually like them a lot. They're more in the creamy texture. It's a little more waxy than most eyebrow. And it's go very nice and soft on the, the skin. One side is the pencil and the other side is eyebrow gel with color. And for Shiharu eyebrow, I extend them a little longer. And you can see that. So what I plan to do is after I do the eyebrow on the back, I'm gonna gel the eyebrow. I would like to go back with a marker. And that way, I'm gonna create some hair in the front here. Instead of filling the whole eyebrow with a pencil, I think it can look too heavy. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a few individual hair around here. The shape still look very natural. It's like her natural hair. The common thing people always make is they try to choose the eyebrow color too dark. For example, on Shiharu, most of the time people are gonna say, okay, she has black hair, and they would choose a black color, brown pencil. But on Shiharu today, I actually use medium brown, which is a lot lighter than her natural hair color. The reason because, especially on the area very dense like this, if you use a dark, dark pencil, her eyebrow can look so dark and very harsh. And this way, the eyebrows still look very nice, natural, and soft. For the eye today, I'm not gonna use any eyeliner. It's just all about cream product I'm using on her eyes and her cheek. And these are the two colors I'm using. From this brand, I think it's from London. I'm gonna use a larger brushes for the lighter color and smaller brushes for the darker the color. And basically, the darker cream shadow, I put just low to the lash line and the crease area. And I don't want to stop right at the end here. I always want to extend it a little longer. I think it's always more lifted. And for cream eyeshadow, you can use finger as well. But for this look, I'm just trying to use with a brush so it's have a little more control for me. Next, I'm using the other color and I blend everything out. And then I put all over the brown bone and the rest of the lid area that we didn't have the other color. Also, I want to keep a little bit on the lower lash line. I think it's defined the shape of the eye a little more. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use mascara or not, so I'm gonna use blush and highlighter first before I make that decision. Sometimes the look is beautiful without any mascara. And this cream blush, you can use either your fingers or apply with a brush. For blush, I like to use the fingers. The warm of your fingers actually help to melt the product nicer on the skin. I'm a blush lover, so I'm always very generous when it gives you blush. If you think it's too much, you can always apply less. Like I mentioned every video, makeup is very, very personal. You know, like what I do doesn't mean that what you like or what you do work for you, then you can keep doing what works for you. All I do, I'm just sharing what works for me. And if you take one tip from what I show is good enough, you know, that's all I care about. It's not about teaching you, it's about just sharing my knowledge, what my experience with all these years I do makeup and what works for me. And if you've been doing something amazing, it worked for you, then you can keep doing what you do. You don't have to do exactly the way I do. In the same palette, 
I use the highlight and this highlight I think is pretty pretty I love how creamy and sheer the highlighter I think this brand they do a great job it's all vegan product I believe the presentation is amazing on this blush palette they do so originally I was debating whether I'm gonna use mascara or not but my assistant and the camera guy suggest I should put a little mascara on to define the eye so I that's what I'm gonna do so I'm using Surat Lash Curler. I think it's amazing for wide set eye. I think it's actually amazing for Asian eyes. And for mascara, I'm using the Lancome very old classic. I think it's my first mascara I used when I started out doing makeup. It's more defined mascara and lengthening instead volume. For lipstick, I'm choosing this color from an indie brand from the Philippines. I'm not sure where you get them, but I believe you can buy them online. I just love their matte texture lipstick and I've been using them a lot as well. I'm using a lip liner as well, but I will use them after the lipstick. Now I'm going back, just tracing the shape of the lip I created. And this pencil also a very long wear. One is set, it doesn't move. And I'm just only used around the edges. To complete the look, I'm gonna warm up Shaharu a little bit more than she is. I feel like I should make Shaharu skin a little more, even more luminous. So I'm going to use a little spray mist from Tatcha. 